Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Cancers. Cancer, we're going to check in on the person most on your mind or your current connection. So let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest fellow Cancers. All right, the overall energy, we've got the Ten of Wands, somebody releasing burdens. This could be you, this could be your person. This can be letting go of past relationship baggage, ready for a new beginning. Your person, they're feeling a little bit confused with the Seven of Cups, so you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or um, another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, but this person is feeling a little bit confused. I think there's somebody that's really wondering about you, wondering um, if you're single, wondering what you're doing, what's happened to you. Um, I love this energy because it feels like a huge weight has been lifted. Ooh, Cancer, but they're viewing you as the Queen of Cups in reverse. So, hmm, I wonder if this person opened up or told you something that you didn't like. The Queen of Cups in reverse can be somebody who also, you know, she's been hurt in love. Um, and in the upright, she's healed, she's protected, she's ready to offer that cup of love to someone. She's had a tough time in love. Um, this person may be wondering if they should reach out or not. Now, it could be a past person, um, or it could be somebody that's sort of in your energy, but it, they're kind of viewing you as not quite healed, Cancer, or not quite ready to offer that cup of love. Um, maybe you're still sort of healing from a past relationship or something that happened between you guys. What you don't see coming is there is resolution in this connection. And the final outcome energy, there's reciprocity, six of pentacles. Somebody here may be extending an offer to you, Cancer, to either get back together or to go on a date. Like I said, it could be somebody new and they're just trying to figure you out. I feel like you guys are purging and releasing though. Maybe you talk to this person about relationships or something that you've been through. Five of Wands, so there's a little bit of struggle. Either this is somebody that you guys have been arguing with or you've had a tough time with. Um, maybe you guys just had a hard time getting on the same page. It could also be cancer that either this person has a lot of options or they view you as having a lot of options, but I think they're just trying to figure you out. That's what I'm getting. This person's really wondering, trying to figure out if you're single, if you're dealing with anybody else. Let's see, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Somebody's releasing burdens. You know, it could be that this person's been holding back and they haven't told you how they feel. We get the Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody's been spying on you, Cancer. Um, and the Death card, Scorpio energy. This could be somebody that you had an ending with. Absolutely. I get really strong water energy. Um, this could be somebody that you have ended things with or they're watching and waiting to see if you've ended something with somebody else or you've healed, you've purged, you've released a past energy. So it feels like this person, either you know them online or they're... They're in your energy, they're in your community, they're somebody you work with, maybe they're a friend. They're watching and waiting to see when is the time when the time is right to make an make their approach. Let's see. This person, they're in the seven of cups energy. Hmm. I don't know, Cancer. Maybe some of you guys you had a fight or an argument with this person. This person is very closed off, not very emotional, or at least that's like how they're trying to deal with this. So it could be a past person where things have ended, but I feel like they are definitely not over you, Cancer. Okay, if that's the case. I also feel this person, they're trying to figure out the truth. Maybe you said something that they didn't like or that there was, there was a misunderstanding. They could have also heard something about you that you were dealing with other people, but they're restless. They want to come towards you. For some of you, there were things that were left unsaid between you guys, okay? with the King of Swords in reverse, they've got like a blocked throat chakra. There was something that they never told you. Maybe you blocked this person, who knows? It feels like there was some sort of fight or argument or disagreement between you. For others of you, this is somebody who's just been watching and waiting and trying to figure out what your deal is. If you're still with so-and-so, if you're single, what you're up to. They do see you getting a lot of attention, but I think this person intuitively knows that you've been hurt in love, either by them or by somebody else. So they're cautiously approaching. The Three of Cups, they wanna date you. They they see you as fun, flirting, wanting to date 
I feel like this person is worried that there's competition. Magician energy, this person's manifesting you. They are going to take action towards you and ask you out on a date. Now, it could be this this energy that they're in, like they're kind of, they're trying not to overthink things, but they can't stop thinking about you. This person might be dreaming about you. I think this person, like when they're at work or whatever it is that they do, like they go for a run or whatever, they their mind always drifts back to you. But I feel like they try not to cancer. They, I feel like they're really... With these ten of wands, it's like they they they're burdened by this. They're burdened by how much they like you, how much they think about you. Um, I do think also they're worried there's a third party or they've got they've got competition, but they are going to take action towards you. They are going to reach out. Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio energy coming through really strong. What you don't see coming. This could be somebody that wants to resolve conflict with you. Could be a, uh, an Earth sign. Ten of Wands, again, this person, they want to offer you stability. They, are, I think they're a little bit burdened by how long things have taken for either them to build up the courage to come around. Maybe they thought you were going to reach out to them. And so now they're starting to think, oh, like Cancer's really hurt, but Cancer's with somebody else. Like this person definitely does a lot of overthinking. So I'm getting really strong Virgo Gemini energy. But this person wants stability. This person wants to wants to heal things or wants to seize you as somebody that they can really invest in. Ten of Wands in reverse coming out twice, you guys. That's absolutely no coincidence. This person wants a new beginning with you or they're seeing you as the one. Maybe they misjudged you in the past. Um, you know, maybe they were dealing with other options. I feel like this person, if they were, um, they're, they're like... They've decided on you is what I'm getting. Six of Pentacles, this person's going to reach out. This is about taking you on a date. You may be back and forth about it. You might be really in your head, Cancer, about whether or not you should give this person another chance. But look what's at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. You may end up marrying this person. Um, I think you're, I feel like this could be a past person and I know we don't want to really deal with exes here, Cancer, but you're going to be really in your head about this person back and forth about whether or not you should give them another chance. If it's a new person, you might have a choice in love here. Um, you might have a choice in love between somebody from the past and somebody new and you're, it's like, it's totally doing your head in. Some of my cancers, you're not going to believe this, all right? Some of you guys, you might need to sort of fight it out with this person too because I feel like there was a lot that was left unsaid, but with that Ten of Cups, there's a lot of love here as well, okay? So let's see. Advice for cancers, learn to let go. So many of you guys, um, there's a past person that you need to let go of so this new person can come in. I feel like this new person's already in your energy, um, but they can't quite figure you out. And if that's the case, I feel like this is a strong message. Let go of the past cancer. What's meant for you is absolutely not going to pass you by. And you're going to create a space, you know, a void, a space um, that's going to be filled with something more aligned with you. Now, it could be somebody coming back healed and transformed, or it could be a new energy. So let's see what else spirit has rise above tribulations. Yeah. So there's been a lot of conflict. Some of you guys, you need to let go of what happened between you guys, that 10 of wands in reverse. I feel this person, if it's a past person coming back in cancer, they want to let go of all the stuff that pulled you guys apart. They want to work through it. Okay. And we get dragon discover your courage. So it could be you cancer. Um, you know, whatever that means for you, this courage, it could be saying no to somebody from the past and choosing a new path. But I feel this person's building up courage to, they're restless. They want to talk to you. They left something unsaid, um, or they need to tell you how they feel before they feel like they lose you. Um, there's definitely somebody coming in to offer you stability and commitment. It's going to be a really tough decision. And that's why you have to build up courage to make the right decision for you. Follow your heart here, Cancer. All right, so let's go ahead and see what messages come through regarding this connection. Please, for cancer, there's definitely there's definitely struggle. Like I said, some of you guys, this is a past person, and you guys have to fight it out. Unblock that throat chakra. I'm seeing stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. This person, they want a future with you, cancer. All right. But it's up to you to make the healthiest choices. Can this be repaired? Um, and if it's a new person, can this person offer me that stability? Am I healed? It's important that you are healed before you move on to another connection. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, a lot of my cancers, you have been focusing on self-love or maybe, you know, if you need to, you might be like, you know what? I really like you. Thank you for the offer, but I'm just not quite ready or I'm not over someone. The right person is going to hold space for you, cancer. All right. So we get twin flames. Some of you, you're on a twin flame journey or this is your twin. You guys complement each other really well but we get keys on a ring, many options, decision. There's an important decision coming up and I see that. I do feel that it's possible in the past there may have been options for you or for this person. They're definitely worried about it. Um, you know, and there's a lot of ways that this can go, but I do feel that this person, like the decision here is so important, Cancer. A lot of you guys, you have you have just a really important decision to make. There's love here, okay, unconditional love, but it 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 requires you to be in this strong energy of self-love first, making those healthy decisions, setting strong boundaries here, Cancer. Wow, all right, you've got an important decision coming up. It's gonna take a lot of courage. I think you've been really resilient. Some of you guys, you've moved on. You've, you've shifted your focus and you're like dating and you're getting out there and you're having fun and this person's coming back in. I don't think they like that. I don't think they want competition. Cancer, make the best decision for you. All right, so I got these lovely little Lunar Lyrics Love and Relationships cards. So we'll see what messages come through for Cancer regarding this connection. So we've got Johnny Cash. Ooh, one of my personal favorites. If we're ever parted, I will keep that tie that binds us and I'll never let it break because I love you. <laughs> Twin flame energy. Oh my gosh. If, and if you know the relationship between Johnny Cash and June Carter, ooh wee, really strong, really strong connection. All right, and then we get... Lady Gaga, you should have made made some plans with me. You knew that I was free, and now you won't stop calling me. I'm kind of busy. Ooh, so maybe this person ignored you, Cancer, in the past, um, or vice versa, right? Um, so I don't. It feels like somebody here turned the back, turned their back on this connection. Maybe they're a little bit worried too that you've moved on. That's what I'm getting. And finally, we get Tina Turner, speak a language of love like you know what it means. Ooh, yeah, so make this person work, Cancer. This person also has to back up their actions, okay? Their words with actions. No stringing you along. Like this person, it's like they've got to be all in. I do think that's the, sort of what the transformation that's taken place. I think this person has also seen you change a lot, Cancer. All right, sometimes we need to evolve separately to come back together. Um, I don't know, I see something really beautiful here, Cancer. Interference, so an external party intruding on this relationship. So it's possible, I mean, like I said, it's possible that there were options in the past. Um, I do also feel this person's really worried that there's they're trying to figure you out, what's going on with you. And they may be spying on you online. The timing is not quite right. Okay, so wait for it, Cancer. But again, don't put your life on hold for anybody, okay? You you do you, have fun, get out there. It may be a little bit longer till this person comes in because I do think that they're building up this courage to release these burdens, tell you how they feel, maybe even offer an apology. They're restless. They, they have a blocked throat chakra though. I also feel like if this is somebody from your past, the, the timing wasn't right. But look at this. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So making those healthy decisions, being really focused on that self-love energy, that self-care, making healthy choices, exercising, um, you know, drinking water, like just taking really good care of yourself. Cancer is raising your vibration and it's going to bring it's going to bring something beautiful to you. And some of you, you may reject this past person. All right, it's you have a very important decision and it's gonna it's gonna either come as a surprise or like really do your head in um, what this person has to say to you. So again, stay balanced and do what's best for you guys. All right, discover your courage. I think this person, they're, they're trying to build themselves up to come towards you. All right, so I'm gonna leave it here, sending you guys so much love and light. Um, if these messages resonate with you, I am gonna ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and also check out the description box if you're after a private reading, you like the cards I'm using, or you wanna follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, Cancers, love and light. Take care.